Hi everyone, this is Shelly from Do You Bake and to Bake with Shelly. Um, so I'm doing some food prep today for dinner and I just wanted to share with you um, something I'm going to be making today. So we have our chicken teriyanchi casserole. Um, so this is one of the meals um, that come with Do You Bake and all you need to do is add chicken, some milk, butter and oil. Um, so it's gonna be a quick little meal and I just wanted to show you that I got about two pounds of chicken cut up here. Um, I have the pa little packages that we have that come in the kit with the pasta and I think I might add a few little bit more pasta. Um, so mixed vegetables and um, we're gonna add a little bit of cheese later too. Um, so this is what it looks like here. So we just have to have the cubed chicken and toss it the contents of the small package. Goes into the chicken. And then we're gonna brown the chicken on oil and saucepan on medium heat. While the chicken is browning, we'll cook the pasta. So I have the water starting to boil. Um, so I'm gonna be putting in the pasta. Okay, so I added the small contents of what's um, in the pack, so the spices. So my chicken cubes are now um, cooking and browning and waiting for the pasta. And then later on we'll make the sauce and everything. So this is the second step, um, or the first step, because you have to brown the chicken first and pasta still boiling there. Um, yeah, so it's going to take a while, but uh, I like to add a few other spices, so I'm going to probably add a little bit of other spices that I enjoy um, in my chicken. Um, but yeah, you could probably add your own little flavor too, okay? So we're adding the uh, water, the pasta to the water, and I had a little bit of salt in the water, um, just because I am going to be cooking for me and my husband. And I think this meal is more like for one person. I'm going to add a little bit of my own pasta, which is just, I like the little bow ties. So I'm just going to add a little bit more just to make it for two of us. And I'll continue in just my butter here to my pot, uh, which I'm going to be adding my sauce in soon. So I'm going to melt that and I'll be putting my sauce there with milk and thickening it. So we'll put that on hold for a second. So I'm adding about 600 um, to 700 milliliters of milk. So 600 millimeters of milk is about two and a half cups. So you stir it in about one fourth cup at a time and you thicken the sauce uh, until you're, um, your thickness so it has a little while for me to thicken this up so I added one cup in so far and I'll just add another cup here so that's about two cups here I know you should basically do it a little slower but just because I'm doing a demo um, yeah so this is the first time making this so so Kind of curious on how well me and my husband will enjoy um, this great meal. And again, this is um, Do You Bake? And this is what we're going to be ending up to make. Um, I don't have the crumbs. They do say you can add crumbs in your tip there. It says um, crunchy topping. Create a crunchy topping by making one cup of breadcrumbs with two tablespoons of Do You Bake? For the love of garlic and one third, one fourth cup of butter, and sprinkle on top of the bake. But I don't have some breadcrumbs, so we're gonna do it without breadcrumbs. But I'm gonna be adding some cheese at the end to melt. Um, so let's thicken this up, and I'll show you what it looks like before I put it in the oven, and then just before I add the cheese. So stay tuned. Got my uh, pasta in my bowl, and like I said, I have the twirls, and I added some bow ties to make it a little bit more because I did quite a bit and want to share my pasta um, and like I said I don't have the breadcrumbs and we're still um, doing the sauce and I'm gonna be adding the chicken um, so you can see it in just a minute so the chicken now is on top of the pasta and now we're waiting for the sauce and the veggies 
added, um, they asked for a one cup of mixed vegetables, but I kind of bought the wrong mixed vegetable, unfortunately. It has a little bit of rice in it, so it's going to be a little bit different. But um, hi, Green Giant, and we're going to get some carrots and peas and corn. Yum, 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 yum. Hi, so we're adding some sauce to um, this. The sauce is ready to be poured on top and then ready for baking. Um, so here's the nice creamy sauce uh, ready to be poured on top of um, our mixture of chicken and um, pasta. So let's put it in and mix it up. Well, um, my little baking is in the oven, um, 25 to 30 minutes, and I'm going to be adding cheese um, for the last part of my cooking time. Um, so I'm going to probably shred my cheese I decided to do with cheddar. Um, we're going to do some Crackle Barrel Medium. Um, it does ask for matzah, but I decided I want cheddar. Um, so we'll try cheddar. I'm sure there's a lot of other options and if you do um, buy this little kit um, let me see your pictures and your results and I see my table is getting ready for some holiday baking so I got a bunch of stuff on my uh, my table just to prepare myself for some Christmas baking with the you bake and um, yeah and I'll show you uh, my little videos each time I make one okay thanks okay, so this is what it looks like um, about 20 minutes of baking. I'm going to add some cheddar cheese on it and put it in the oven um, to finish the baking. Guys, it's done. Um, cheese is melted. I'm going to let it cool off because it's still nice and bubbly. Um, yeah, and I'll let you know what it looks like once I put it on my dish and take a snap picture and put all my videos together. So thank you for watching. Do you bake and bake with Shelly and um, yeah, have a great night, guys, and um, bon appetit, and have a great dinner. Goodbye.